Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So a fight broke out between White Money and Pere last night. So how did these all start? The housemates were playing a game last night and of course they got into a game where they had to speak words into each other's ears. So Maria spoke into White Money's ears and White Money spoke into Angel's ears. Angel then spoke to Emmanuel's ears and Emmanuel spoke to Perry's ears. And then after the game was done, Perry insisted on hearing the original question. Nobody told Perry the original question. Then Perry left the lounge and then came back again. And at that point, White Money was lying on one of the couches in the lounge. And he bent over White Money again, asking him the what did you say in a very stern voice. What did you ask, bro? I asked Angel. And while Perry bent over, he also tried to unbuckle his belt, coming off as if he wanted to use the belt on white money. Yeah. It was me that asked the question that you did was, You asked Angel the what? Asked what, did you, what did you ask? I didn't ask any question. No. What's the question? What's the and at that point, white money felt bullied. The housemates were really disappointed in the acts of Perry as some of the ladies told him, now you know what, you're not the head of house anymore, your tenure is over, nobody is scared of you and of course you should come down from your high horse. That's a lot, then what? Why isn't Biggie seeing it? I didn't bully anybody. Yes you did, according to everyone that saw it, you, you apparently bullied him. Where in his face? When you come you down, someone's laid down, you come close to them, talk, that's bullying Perry. In his face, Perry. I bent down to look at his Why? Why are you bending why? down to look at his good Why? Why? Perry, get why? over it. Why? The whole 19th house oh. Why? Perry, why? why? The whole 18th house bending down to look at his good man. Someone so and a dog like him. And he was in front of him. Why are you you him? Now, what shocked me was the fact that Perry said that White Money knew that he was the wild card from one of the chaperones of the Big Brother organizers. And I'm wondering, how would you say that on national TV, even if you knew that White Money knew about you as a wild card from the chaperones? How do you come to say that on national TV? Did I march to you? I was relaxed. Please, I need you to apologize. Did I even say a word back to you? You guys don't need to be friends. I need you to apologize. I'm not apologizing for shit. I didn't do nothing to this young man. First of all, you found out I was a wild card from one of the chaperones. Okay, I'm not having this conversation. That's what I have to say to you. Yeah. That's how we found out I was a wild card. That's how we knew I was a wild card. How'd you know that you know that? Because I know. Now, Big Brother went on a break and when Big Brother came back, an argument had ensued between Queen and Maria and of course we saw Lee Rose talking to Maria about the fact that she shouldn't get into an argument with Queen because they're just going to keep on shouting and while this conversation was going on, Perry came back and said what happened and Maria claimed that he has no right to ask her a question because he just messed up. This is not the first time. Do yeah, understand? don't do that. I don't want to be a third time. I beg. Don't do that. You had no right to ask anyone that, Perry. You literally don't. 
you, all, all of this had not like literally you you did not have to do Maria, did you know everyone's repeat Maria went ahead to tell him that him bending over white money and of course removing his belt looked like he was really bullying him and that's why the housemates are in the garden and I feel you know the fact that he did that And for me, trust me, I literally will give kudos to Maria because this time she brought these two guys together. And of course, her deputy Boma was there. I think that Boma as the deputy was a very fantastic choice because looking at the fight that happened tonight, Boma was the only person who was really, really mature that I feel that could stand in that conversation and try to settle it. But guess what? They still didn't settle this fight. Maria called both of them and said, you know what? I need us to address this issue that happened between the both of you. By how you treated white. Um, however that is, I wasn't there. I'm going by what everyone that was there, which is half of the house, that said how things happened, happened. That said how things happened, happened. At least before things go a bit or TT over the top, this is just an opportunity for you and White to just at least talk us to adults. And then Perry got along to say that the genesis of this whole beef he has with white money started from the fact that white money knew that he was the wild card. On day two or day three, after the announcement was made about wild cards, prior to that, on my very first day, like, this is what I noticed. When all the gents came in the house, shook everyone's hands, were all happy, excited, you whites, you avoided my eyes. You, it, it was, I felt the negative energy from you. And I'm wondering that the wild card is over. Why are we still going on and on about this wild card issue? It was as if you didn't want to even look at me or shake my hand. I had to force you practically to be in your face like, hey, yo, I'm right here. This is my hand. That didn't make sense to me until two days after Biggie had announced who the wild card, um, that there were wild cards in the house. I knew your relationship with the guy who's handling your account. This matter degenerated into a point where they started threatening each other that when they get outside, I mean, this was crazy white money threatening um, Perry and of course Perry threatening white money and of course this matter got into a deadlock. If it's fight, if it's white money, I didn't go to, I train no. Sorry, I go training no. The reason the reason I came out here is none of my business if you both is none of my business if you both Perry please I want to address something real quick because um white money the man you are seeing here today you have zero idea where I've been same here bro. In the end, you know what White Money was telling Perry that he's going to be alright last last day, you know, when they're going to run things outside together. But Perry was like, never, I'm not going to run anything with you. And that he doesn't fear any human being and that White Money should be afraid of how he eventually got to know that he knew about him being a wild card. Still has love, he's going to be nice. We're going to die at last last, don't worry my guy. Oh, I've, I've, al I've always been... Bro! For outside there, but you see, we go run things together. Look, no, we're not running anything together. Bro. You go see now, it will be like a trick. You're supposed to get out. You got that information from outside. I, yeah, I, I know how do you got it. Don't do good night. You don't do. I know how you got it though. <laughs> you should be scared of how I know how you got it. I'm serious. <laughs> you should be worried. Yeah, big that. brother, I'm asking you. You really should be. I pray to him every morning. What do I think? The only thing I think in this whole conversation is that Big Brother has to address the fact that Perry said one of the chaperones told White Money that he is the wild card. I think that is really disrespectful to the organizers of the show. Please go to the comment section and let's continue our conversations there. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and guys so to get notified whenever I post a video. We're on all social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and of course on TikTok and follow me at Femi Daniel. And until next time I come with you very soon, it's bye for now.